guys, thank you so much for joining me in this video. So I've been scrolling online and I've noticed that there are so many hacks and DIYs, um, but I feel like most people don't actually try any of the hacks that they see online. And I thought it might be fun to try out some of these hacks and see if they actually really work because some actually you know, look like they would work and others, I don't know, I question. One of the hacks that I actually came across this weekend is a DIY cornstarch nail. So this is supposed to be like an at-home version of like acrylic nails. Of course, you know, if you think about it, I don't think that cornstarch will ever come close to acrylics or even a dip powder because, you know, it's cornstarch and there's so many chemicals and so many other things that go into, um, you know, dip powders and acrylic powders that are just a lot better. So I feel like this hack is something that is meant to be for like last minute or like if you're desperate and you need to have your nails done and you can't go to the salon or just kind of like a short term solution. So the post that I saw online actually says that this lasts like around two weeks, which I, I don't know, we'll see. I would be very, very surprised if I can get that wear out of this. Um, I'm not going to test it in this video. I'll probably do a follow up video um, in a week or two and I'll just update you guys on how the nails last. But in this video, I'm just going to apply them and just see how nice of a manicure I can get with cornstarch. Okay, so the technique for this is almost kind of like dip powder nails where you paint a top coat onto your nails and then you dip your nails into the cornstarch um, to kind of create like a powder and then you just layer it on that way. So to me, this is very similar to dip powder nails um, or SNS nails. So I have a bowl here. I'm going to just pour some cornstarch into this bowl because I actually cook with this cornstarch and I don't wanna to waste too much of it. <laughs> so before all of this, I have already prepped my nails. I pretty much soaked my nails and then pushed the cuticles back and cut uh, my cuticles accordingly. And then after that, I shaped my nails. Um, this time I kinda did like a rounded tip. I've never actually done a rounded tip. I've normally just gone like a squared or kinda like a coffin. Um, so this is actually kind of exciting because I've been wanting to try this for a while um, And then after that I just buffed the top of my nails just to have a smooth surface to work with And then after that I rinsed my hands to get rid of the dust And then I'm also going to use some rubbing alcohol and just go over my nails Get rid of all of the extra oils or any like dirt or particles that are still left on my nails And then I'm going to start painting my nails This is a top coat This is Sally Hansen Miracle Gel Top Coat so I got this probably like five dollars at the store. Um, I think this is gonna be my sacrificial Bottle otherwise um, if you don't want to sacrifice a whole bottle of nail polish You can pour it into another bottle and use it that way So I'm going to apply the top coat just kind of as a base coat So after the top coat dries, I am just going to add another layer this one a little bit thicker and then quickly dip it into the cornstarch before it gets too dry. And then it looks like you just tap off the extras. And then I have a like kind of a really soft brush right here, like a fan brush. I'm just going to gently brush off the excess. Hmm. So far, so good. It looks like just regular dip powder. I don't know how many layers I'll need because you know the cornstarch is a lot finer than like a powder, like a nail powder. Okay, so I'm going to just keep building on top. We'll do another layer and see how that goes. It's kind of messy. Now that there's like three coats of clear polish on my fingers, I'm gonna wait a little bit for this to dry before I add any more coats because I don't want it to just be globbed on there without really fully drying each layer and then that's gonna take forever for them to dry so i'm gonna wait and then i'll probably do like one or two more coats and then i'll add the polish on top afterwards and that's where you get your color okay so now i'm going to apply another coat i'm doing this as fast as i can because i don't want the top coat to dry before the cornstarch gets onto the nail because I feel like if it does dry then it's not gonna stick so I'm trying to do this as quickly as I can never really even done dip powder nails before so this is all super new to me like I've done it at the salon but not like by myself you know so it's definitely like a very fast process I mean 
just looking at these the way they look now they look really good it's definitely not as thick though i think we're gonna do four coats and go from there okay. i really don't know what i'm doing but i'm just hoping that this works <laughs> okay so i'm going to wait like 10 15 minutes for this to dry so i will be back in just a little bit after this dries and we'll continue on with my cornstarch nails. <laughs> okay, I am back. So I actually went ahead and applied another coat of um, top coat on top of the powder um, just to kind of seal everything in. I think it's pretty much dry. It's not like 100% dry, but I want to say it's like around 90% dry. So I want to go ahead and clean these up by reshaping them just because they're kind of really messy at this point and it's a little bit bumpy so I want to reshape my nails and then I'm going to buff them out just to kind of smooth the surface a little bit. So as of right now I have a clear coat as kind of like a base and then I have another clear coat then the cornstarch, another clear coat then the cornstarch, another clear coat then the cornstarch, another one, then the cornstarch, and then another clear coat. So that is six layers of clear coats and four of the cornstarch to get to this point right now. And we're not even done yet. This whole process is taking a really long time so far. Um, I mean, they're not looking horrible, so I'm kind of um, curious to see how these turn out, but I'm gonna go ahead and just shape these. After shaping them and kind of cleaning them up, they actually are looking a lot better. All right, so I'm gonna take some rubbing alcohol um, and kind of just quickly go over the nails to get rid of any oils or anything before I add any more coats. I'm doing it with rubbing alcohol because it's actually not like a nail polish remover. It's still gets rid of the oils and the dirt and everything, but it's not actually removing the nail polish, I'm hoping. I'm also getting rid of any of the extra cornstarch on my nails for I actually do the color polish. Okay, so now that the nail is pretty much shaped and prepped and everything, I'm gonna go ahead and finally apply my colored nail polish. And I'm just gonna do two coats of this just like normal. Okay, so now I'm gonna wait a few more minutes for this to dry and then I'll add the top coat and then we're gonna just let everything dry and see how it turns out. Okay, see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so finally I'm going to apply the very last coat, which is the top coat to this very, very painstakingly long manicure. Okay, <laughs> so I am finally all done with my left hand. I haven't done my right hand yet because this is the first time I've tried this hack and uh, whenever I try to do both hands, oftentimes I mess up and it's just a complete mess. So I decided to just do my left hand. There are seven layers of clear nail polish on here, two layers of colored nail polish, and then four layers of cornstarch powder on my hands. I'm actually pretty impressed with the way that this turned out. It's not bumpy, it's not um, patchy or anything like that. It's actually very smooth. It took a really long time though. I will check in with you guys in a little bit after my nails have completely dry. I don't know how long this is going to take. Okay, so it is the next day. I was actually going to put this part, the dried results, in the follow-up video, but when I woke up this morning, I was honestly so impressed with how well these nails turned out. I wanted to include it in this video. I ended up not painting my right hand because after I did the cornstarch phase, I went downstairs and cooked um, and gave them some time to dry while I was cooking and preparing dinner because I knew that if I would have painted my nails before dinner, I would have messed them up while I was preparing dinner. Without the top paint, without the colored paint, these actually dried pretty quickly. So it took probably half an hour or an hour to fully dry and I was able to cook and prepare food. So because of that, I would say that this actually would probably work out better if you started either early in the morning and then gave yourself like a two to three hour window before putting on the actual nail polish on top of the um, cornstarch nails. I think I would definitely use this technique again, this hack again, especially because if you don't have like a UV light kit for gel nails or if you don't have a dip powder to do at home, they can get really costly. So this is a really great um, 
affordable way to get fake nails or acrylic nails or acrylic like nails at home for so much cheaper I think this only cost me a little bit of cornstarch and then uh, the cost of two bottles of nail polish which I can continually uh, which I can continuously use especially if I just devote the clear coat to doing cornstarch nails so I feel like this is a little bit more versatile because you can change up the color a lot cheaper and it's more accessible I didn't think that this would be good for use with um, nail tips because I didn't think it was gonna be as strong but with my results at least they are pretty strong and I can definitely see them being able to hold tips on to my nails um, at least for a week or maybe even two I don't I don't know I'll let you guys know how well these hold up in my update video another tip that I would suggest is if you're doing this technique I highly 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 recommend um, using a brush to brush off as much of the excess powder as possible. My analogy to that is like, if you think of a brick wall, and to put up a strong brick wall, you would have to have cement in between all the bricks to pretty much glue everything, everything together. And if you don't have the cement and you stack two bricks on top of each other, that's not going to hold. So you really want to make sure that there's not too much cornstarch on your nails before you put this on because if there is too much cornstarch um, the there's no glue and so your nails aren't going to be as strong and they're not going to last as long another thing is because there are so many layers of nail polish you want to do this early enough where your nails can dry before you go to bed or before um, you know you do anything that might ruin them so overall I think this is a great affordable alternative to acrylics or dip powder nails just to get stronger nails if you are patient I think that is kind of the key points in this you have to be very 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 patient with these nails but if you are or you're just not clumsy like I am then I think this is a great um, hack to at least try. I think there is a little bit of a learning curve. Um, if you're not really good with doing your nails fast, it could be a little bit hard. I found that when I was doing my right hand, I was going a lot faster and it went by a lot easier because I had already practiced on my left hand. So I do think that you know, if you are interested in this, I think maybe it might take a couple tries to get good results. Um, I'm actually really, really happy with my results. They're so strong and uh, um, it's not cracking, it's not doing anything and it's holding up really well. But anyway guys, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this testing um, biohacks video. Please let me know if you've tried this hack or if there are any other hacks you would like me to try. Let me know in the comment section below. Please give this video a like if you guys enjoyed it. And if you haven't done this already, be sure to click on that subscribe button right there and hit that bell notification so you can see more videos like this. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.